that represents every one of the 500 rescues that we have taken care of. This is Scott.
Chloe was rescued on June 4th, 2009. Three and a half, three and a half year old. Chloe gets along so well with other dogs and people, we decided to enter her into pet therapy with her brother, uh, Zeke. On September 4, 2010, she became certified. She became certified and will be doing her first visit this next Monday. This is Chloe O'Connor. <laughs> Brother Zeke. This is Zeke O'Connor. Rescued at two years old on his second birthday, March 2nd, 2008. He was our second. Well, I think after Good dog he is. We decided to get him certified as a pet therapy dog. On September 4th, he finished his training and became certified. On Monday, he will do his first therapy session at a senior center owned by Sharon and Dan O'Connell. This is Chloe's brother, Zeke. <laughs> Rescued from Lowry Humane Society. He's a big, spoiled dog who loves his mother. Check out his collar. I was rescued on Halloween 2007. Got a big sister uh, who was also rescued from Bull Mastiff League who was about seven or eight. Also has a naughty um, Newfie sister who's his best friend. Mom and Dad love us very, very much. This is Muggles. This is Tallulah Bell, a four-year-old Bull Mastiff who was adopted last year by Christine Radisson. The new belt has surgery while it's going to the doctor who went through physical therapy and made great recovery. She lives a couple, goes on walks in Boston, and likes to be with her sister Maxine, a nine-year-old adopted English bulldog. This is Tony Bell. So these are our 2010 parade of rescues. I want you to get involved. There's so many things that you can do. You can start by opening your pocketbooks. Rescue is almost broken. The numbers of dogs that we have taken in this past year has surpassed what we took in the year before. And why is that? People adopt dogs. Dogs get big. Whoops, didn't realize it was be that big. People get dogs and hardships fall upon them. I can't tell you how many dogs we have taken in where their loving families lost their homes, their automobiles, they have to move into apartments with families they can't take their dogs with them. 